Every time I chase something that I think will make myself happier, it never ends up working out. It's like you're chasing a goal, but every time you get to that goal, it starts moving away from you, and that is beyond frustrating. See, ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be the next big YouTuber. I was in 6th grade recording Minecraft YouTube videos on my parents' computer. I was a freshman in high school spending 8 hours a day editing videos instead of going to football games or social events. And in that time, all I could think about was the fact that when I got big on YouTube, I could finally be happy. That as soon as I got that 100k subscriber plaque, all my problems would go away. So a few years passed by and there's this little app called TikTok that starts to gain my attention and I decided to go all in for it. I've probably spent over a thousand hours writing, editing, and recording TikTok videos and I was fortunate enough to reach 500,000 subscribers. So this is usually where the happily ever after happens. I got my platform, my family of followers, and even a clothing brand that raises money for mental health awareness, but it wasn't enough. And maybe that's a problem with my personality because I'm never satisfied. And that's not saying I'm not grateful because I am beyond grateful for what we have been able to build here. I just don't feel like it's everything. See, I decided that I wanted to change the world and randomly tried to crowdfund the building of a school just through my TikTok platform. And we did it just two months later. But I feel like we can do so much more. I mean, it sounds insane. Like we are literally building a school just from donations on TikTok. And I know how amazing that is, but I can't help but feel like there's more we can do. So now I'm stuck here starting from nothing yet again with this YouTube channel, and for some reason I keep telling myself that this all works out, I'll finally be happy, but I know that's a lie. Maybe I'm only in love with the feeling of building something, of building a community, of building a brand, of building a following, and once I get that result, I think I'll be happy, and this is why I'm so hard on myself when things don't work out. I mean, through all of this, I know what the real answer is. Obviously, what matters is the people and the experiences, the individuals in this movement. That's what matters. The family and the friends that I've met, that's truly what matters because that's the only thing that's really important through all of this. But sometimes I only feel valuable when I succeed. So I was thinking about this last week and I realized that in order to conquer this mental block, I have to redefine my definition of success. And I think it's something a lot of people also struggle with. When we're born into this world, we're already confined by expectation. We're expected to go to college and get a nice job that supports our family in the end. We're expected to be great students and great athletes. And when we fall short, a lot of that time we bear that burden. It also doesn't help that we're constantly fed by information from social media that we compare ourselves to. If only we looked that way, our lives would be so much easier. If only we had what they had, I would be so much happier. The problem is, when you constantly look forward, you fail to be grateful. And this is my deepest failure, and I definitely owe you guys an apology for that. Because everyone here watching this video brought me to this spot, and even if it's been hard for you, be grateful that you're alive. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head. Statistically, you shouldn't be alive right now. It's a 1 in 400 trillion chance, but you're alive, breathing. You get the opportunity to live another day, to experience the small things that make life special. We've been given the privilege to live our lives, and I think that's something that is easy to overlook sometimes. I haven't been grateful enough, and maybe that's why I'm struggling with happiness. And maybe it makes me a bad person, but at least I'm understanding this. Success isn't something that's based on anyone else, but only yourself. In being grateful, success becomes what you already have. Success becomes in the very fact that you woke up today. You are successful because you have a chance to live. And once this becomes your definition of success, you'll realize that your goal of happiness never actually moved. You just never realized that you were already there. You don't need someone or something to be happy. Sometimes it gets hard, but don't look to other things to make you happy. Instead, be happy that you're alive. Be grateful and keep pushing and everything will work out. At least that's how I see it. And maybe it won't change overnight, but I'm trying. So next time you're feeling like you're not enough, try to be a little bit more grateful. Be grateful for what you have, and maybe you'll realize that you have enough to actually be happy. But who knows? I'm just a kid sitting here. There's still a lot about life that I don't understand. Thank you for watching this video. As always, keep it wholesome. Love you guys.